years of wood and shop experience. So our shop has come together with a canvas cuff to create this holistic mind and body experience. I know most of us have been pretty bummed out with the Brexit news and the climate change and coronavirus, but not to worry because we have some gadgets to help you relax and unwind. So any theme dessert that you get off the menu comes with a sample of our bespoke news avoidance products. Oh, cool. How about the tune out espresso torts? Yeah, it sounds good. Um, so could we get one of the tune out espresso torts? Yeah, I'm sure. I'll get that for you. Thanks. Here is your tune out espresso torts. Now, this comes with our news to music earphones. So if the person next to you starts talking about Brexit, you just pop these on and turn it all into music. So yeah, would you like to try them on? Yeah, of course. So, who would like to try them on first? Okay, cool. Great. Brexit is happening now. So, I think Brexit is happening now. Yeah, so as you can see, all these products are just incredible. I mean, they just block out all news, so you can actually just relax. So there's more at the pop-up store, which you can check out later if you guys like. You know, more and more people avoid the news now. 35% in 2019, up from 24% in 2017. Wow. You know, a lot more people think that the news is too negative. Some people don't even care and they're a bit passe about it, and the rest of us are just tired out. So clearly people are having issues with their news diets. So this whole experience was to provoke thought on the news avoidance phenomena and our personal news diets. Oh, that's nice. Actually, I have some news cards and it would be great if you guys could ask each other some questions with them and see what you guys think. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's do that. How often do you read the news? I mean, you know I like to keep up to date with the news, but sometimes I do think I read it a little bit too often. Wow, I don't really bother with the news. Yeah, because I think it's too negative. I get you, I'm definitely feeling quite news fatigued now. I just think the media should be more objective, you know? So like, we can actually consume the news and not it be some sensationalised version. So, would you say that you avoid the news then? Yes, I definitely avoid the news because I was feeling very overwhelmed and I definitely feel like on an emotional roller coaster, and it's crazy. Yeah, I understand what you mean. I guess, like, what role does the news play in your life? I guess it keeps me informed, and uh, I'm aware that I have to readjust my interact with the news, and because uh, it's very important. Um, it's very overwhelming, but um, a news diet sounds like a good idea. True. I think having a news diet is a good idea, so that I don't read too much of the news, but I also don't read none at all. 